So I've low-key been waiting all month to wear this shirt for this video. I know you guys can't even see it, but like, what this shirt is, is a cat sleeping on top of a bunch of books that are based off of classics, but they have cat puns. So it's like the cat is reading them because they have cat puns. A hundred years of cat naps, the secret litter box, 10,000 dogs under the sea. Ugh. It's full of puns with classics and cats, and I love it. And so since July, I read all classics. I thought I would wear it for this wrap-up. So, yes, July was my month to read classics, and I did this because I loved reading classics in middle school, but I haven't read them much since middle school, and I tried to start reading them, but I just... I never really got into it, so I set this month aside to read classics. And this is actually what happened. <laughs> hey fellow reading warriors, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing the classics that I attempted, attempted to read this month. So, first off, I started Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy, and I started the audiobook for this. And it was actually going pretty good. I was enjoying the story. I was like encapsulated. It was kind of hard to keep the characters straight from one another. But as the more I listened to it and the more I realized I had a lot more to go, I just... <sighs> the beast got to me a little bit. It got to me a bit. Um, and I did not finish it. Not because I lost interest in the story, but just because I would get so stressed out whenever I saw, you know, it's a 40 hour long audiobook, but physically reading this was not going to make it any better. So as of this moment, I have not finished it. I don't want to give up on it, but I have not finished it. The next one, Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. As you can see, there is still a bookmark out of this because this is divided up into three books. I have read the first book, and that is it. <laughs> Again, well, no, but this one is different. My bookmark is falling out. This one is different because I was not immediately captured into the story. I did not immediately have interest in what was going on. It was a build-up. And even then, I'm still not interested. <laughs> I've read Charles Dickens before, and it was fine, but like... I don't know, I just haven't been really interested or motivated. I kind of went through a bit of a slump recently. So like, again, I'm keeping the bookmark in here in hopes that like one day I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll pick this up and I'll quick read it. But we'll see how long the bookmark will stay in here. Again, not officially DNFing it until the bookmark comes out. And the last book in this sad, sad wrap is The Secret Garden. And this is by Frances Hodgson Burnett. And I read this for the reading rush, so I had to read it, and I had to get it done, and I had to get it done on time. And I started it in middle school, DNF'd it, picked it up again now, and I finally finished it. My word. My word. There's just so much that I didn't understand about it in middle school that I think I... I put it down because it wasn't the right time for me to read it, I wasn't ready to read it, I was not in a place where I could really understand what all was going on, um, and especially because I didn't know too much about history and I had a hard time with the accents. I know that. So yeah, I think middle school just wasn't the right time, so I did finish that one book. So out of three books, I finished the, the one. So it was not a great wrap up, <laughs> but again, I kind of went through a little bit of a slump before and after the reading rush, and even during the reading rush, I kind of had to like push myself through, and I think none of these books were particularly motivating for me to read, and so I looked at what I'm doing for August, and August was going to be adventure, because August adventure, I like the alliteration, plus there were just still a bunch of books on my shelf that we're kind of older, but we're also very adventurous, you know, like I have The Mysterious Island by Jules Verne, and I have Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift, and so I was like, oh, like, those kind of classic adventure books, I need to get those read and, like, completed off my shelf, but again, I'm just not, 
not feeling it and I am very much an emotional reader like I have set such TBRs every month for the past seven months and I have stuck to them but let me tell you it's really starting to take a toll especially because again August Adventure was kind of a placeholder for another genre that I was gonna pick based on what my library had but uh still can't go there I can only um, request curbside pickup and so I can't go into the library and browse yet so I'm still having a hard time like browsing for books especially since um you know getting married in like six days I've been working a lot and so I haven't been working to make money so I haven't been buying books so I have no book budget at all which is why I haven't uploaded a haul in a while but yeah so my intent was to read adventure books in August however I might just take a break <laughs> I might just kind of read whatever I want on my shelf. I know, surprise, shocker, it's not like everyone else on booktube or in the world does that. But I have recently, I recently saw a friend of mine who is just a wonderful book owner, reader, editor, like she she does so much and she is incredible and she gave me the school for good and evil trilogy and I had read the first book like way back like middle school early high school but I didn't know that there was the rest of the trilogy and she just now was like hey oh you didn't know that was a trilogy well here let me give you all three books you read them tell me what you think I was like okay and then she also gave me a couple other books because she's just so kind-hearted and generous um so i've just been like oh my word i want to read these books that she's given me or is letting me borrow to read and then talk with her about so i might just kind of take a break from my year-long genre exploration project and just kind of get back into reading because i felt like especially this past month was such a chore to read which is not how I want this to feel and like May and June were great because those were books and genres that I knew that I loved and I wanted to read um, but this past month wasn't so much and I didn't I don't think this next coming month would be either so yeah there's my very long explanation which could have been summed up in like two sentences ha 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 so next month I will not do my regular reading and I will just read what makes me happy to get me out of this reading slump uh, and then we'll check back in with September I know I'm pretty sure December I'm excited okay so I do have all the months planned out and I am excited for our October December and I'm not remembering what September November were I think one of them is poetry and we'll see about that because <laughs> I have never liked poetry but I might also just do books in verse but that's again if I can get more access to books written in verse or poetry so yeah anyway that is my very sad wrap up for this past month past month and what this next coming month is going to look like so comment down below if you guys have ever tried to push yourself to stick close to a TBR and how it just didn't work for you or if you actually got through it and were proud of yourself let me know also let me know if you have any good, like, book cat puns because, like, literally one of them is A Tale of Two Kitties and I couldn't even finish A Tale of Two Cities. So, anyway, yeah. Comment down below. Like this video, even if it's just for the cat shirt. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new and if you want to follow my year-long genre review or if you don't want to, comment that down below and I am seriously considering like abandoning it a little bit more especially this coming month so with that I'm gonna wish you all a happy reading